my parents um, met uh, actually at the little, my, my mom worked at the little drug store in Marietta, um, Atkins Drug, I think it was called. And my dad would come in, he was stationed at Dobbins, he'd come in, so they met there and um, got married a short time afterwards. My dad got transferred from there to Oklahoma and then uh, Charleston, and then we ended up in Central America for three years, and back to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and anyway, so um, my dad retired in 1972, moved back to Kennesaw. I played football and I was a, a, an amateur boxer uh, for a long time. Yeah, my, I started boxing in Panama actually when I was about seven. And then uh, Kennesaw started a boxing team in I think 1976. Um, and so I boxed uh, until uh, my senior year of high school, and then I was playing football as well. You know, Ackworth was the, uh, where we, we, we came to the beach, um, Day Chevrolet's where we bought our cars. Um, and um, every August, we would come down, my mom would bring me down to Eaton's department store. That's where we got our Levi's and our Pro Keds and our flannel shirts for the school year. And it was very busy back then. Um, I would uh, recall my senior year of high school writing a paper on the parking issues in, in Ackworth, which um, ended up being a big issue when I got elected to city council. Yeah, I mean, back then college was, um, you know, it wasn't everybody's first choice, you know. Uh, we had Lockheed, uh, you know, the power company, those those were the jobs people were trying to get when they got out of high school more than than college at that time. I mean, there was obviously some folks that were going to college, but for the rest of us, we were, you know, looking to find a, a good job. And I was in the work program at North Cobb High School, uh, which was run by Harold Kennedy. And um, we, uh, so I'd leave around lunchtime every day and go to the VW shop and work the rest of the afternoon. And then I came back from there and joined the Air Force and spent about a year with basic training and tech school and that type of thing. And then it took me a while to get through there. I was working full time uh, actually at a, a, a contracting company in Decatur. And so um, I was yeah, working full time and going to school uh, air, yeah, during the, at night and then coming home and studying. You know, sometimes things in life happen uh, for a reason and um, I was uh, let go from the general contracting company I was working for in 1999 and so I thought well that's a this might be a good time for me to start my own company so um, I uh, started um, small didn't have a whole lot of money and um, just built it from there and um, built a pretty good business and, until 2007 2008 when the recession <laughs> hit and um, so we, we went through that and then started over again uh, in about 2012, you know. I just love working on um, old houses. In fact, I'm working on the Lewis House in Kennesaw right now, yeah. Well, the Lewis House um, was built um, about 115 years ago. Um, and uh, the developer who's building the apartment complex around it, uh, one of the stipulations I guess Kennesaw had was that they had to keep the Lewis house. And of course it's been in disrepair for a while, hadn't really been kept up. So uh, they're gonna have a game room and mm -hmm. a kitchen, some meeting space and some offices. So it's not usually a big uh, profit center for us, but it's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing that kind of work. <clears throat> yeah, 07, um, uh, it was uh, Tommy Allygood actually came to me and said that uh, Doug Allen was going to be resigning and asked me if I'd be interested in running for uh, alderman. I had never thought about being a politician at that point, but I loved my city. I loved Ackworth, so I said, sure, you know, I'll give it a shot. Campaign very close, ended up in a runoff. Um, and um, But uh, yeah, that was a, that took about a nine months of my life that um, were pretty intense. So. You know, the great thing about this board and, and the thing I've enjoyed the most is the, is the com camaraderie uh, among the board members. Um, they're very, um, you know, nobody has a personal agenda. Um, everybody is focused on the same thing and that's doing what's best for the city of Ackworth. We wanted to make sure that we maintain some green space in the city and being the lake city, um, you know, parks are part of what this city's been about 
for my whole life. Um, you know, I remember as a as a kid, we would come down to the beach, and the, we had a big slide down there, and um, the beach house, and everybody would hang out at the beach house, and there was a concession stand. And so parks have been a part of Ackworth. Even the people that come here uh, adopt it as their hometown, you know, as Tommy Alleygood has, and many others that have come to town, Henry Chandler, and people who, who didn't grow up here, but um, who, when they get here, they, they kind of adopt it as their, their hometown. And um, that's what I love about it is it's still a small hometown feel. As eager as I was to get out of Ackworth when I was uh, 18 years old and see the world, um, and, and through, the, through the merchant marines and the military, I've seen the world. And I, I would rather be right here in Ackworth uh, of all the places I've ever been and all the places I've ever seen. Um, still, this is home and this is where I want to be.